welcome to this vlog which has been so influenced by a mentoring program that I'm currently working on and uh, it's based on Stephen Covey's book Seven Habits of Highly Effective People and I really am enjoying it and if you want to find out more I'll put my contact details in below as to how you can join in on this little mentoring program. Over the last few uh, months and years South Africa has gone through multiple changes in terms of our governments, in terms of uh, these things called state-owned enterprises. I mean, <laughs> if there ever was a, an oxymoron in this country about a state-owned enterprise, because the idea of enterprise means that you're going to receive and that you're going to get and you're going to create jobs. But state-owned enterprises in this country seemingly have more to do with... How's it, Drew? Well, there's a guy. This North Coast Road here, he's decided that this has become his racing track. And I mean, really, it's a very narrow <laughs> dead end road. But nevertheless, um, what was I saying? It's talking about state owned enterprises. So, did you know that SAA, South African Airways, has cost the taxpayers over 14 million a billion rand? Currently, I think their, their outstanding accounts are 19 million rand. I mean, that's not an enterprise, that's a loss that the tax owners are having to fill that gap. You remember a few years ago, this guy here, President Jacob Zuma, got involved with this family here, the Gupta brothers, and together they contrived to do what has been called state capture, and they've effectively, they've effectively cost the country 4.9 trillion rand. 4.9 trillion. You know how many what's a trillion has? Well, let me give you an indication. Right here, you have a million. Over here, you have a hundred million. A million has six notes. A hundred million has eight noughts, and here we have a billion, which is a thousand million, which of course has nine noughts. So I'm just trying to keep my exposures right as I walk here. And then a trillion has 12 noughts, which means it actually has 12 zeros. So state capture has cost this country 4.9 trillion rand. What does Stephen Covey going to do with state-owned enterprises? Well, this is what Covey says. He says, most of our problems in life fall into one of three categories. Things I have direct control over, things that I have indirect control over, things that I have no direct no control over. And these three things influence two major forces. The one is a circle of concern, the things that take energy, that concern and worry me, and the things of, uh, and things of influence, things that I can bring change and influence in. He says, if I invest my time, effort, and energy into things that I have no control over, what happens, my circle of concern increases and my circle of influence is decreased, loses space. And when it comes to state-owned enterprises, I have no control over that. So what I have to do is that I have to limit my exposure. I have to self-sense, to keep informed, to keep knowing what's going on, without investing time, energy, and effort into the detail of things that I have no control over and no indirect control over except maybe making a vlog such as this. So what it means is that I can begin to invest my time, energy and effort into how am I going to respond? How am I going to respond to the fraud, to the corruption in this country and what am I going to do about it? And so I can begin to make a list and invest my energy and effort into that. What happens is this my circle of influence grows and my circle of concern diminishes. So that's what it's about today. As we face many challenges in life, some of them we have no control over, some of them we have indirect control over, which is generally relationships, the things that we have direct control over, which actually are the choices and the decisions as to how we respond and how we engage with all these things. My encouragement is to journey into the things that you have direct control over. In other words, to choose the kind of responses to the adversity that you face so that your influence begins to increase and your concern begins to diminish. Hope that means something to you. If it does, please like this video, ring the bell and subscribe to my channel. If you want to know more about what I'm doing with this mentoring program, email me here. And by the way, all the references to the stats here this, that I've used today are come from repeatable sources and I'll put the links in the description below. God bless you. Have a good day. See you next time.